So look at a Craig Patrick live shot. People are starting to yeah. venture out. Yes. And obviously if you have pets, I understand that they have to go to the restroom, but still yeah. Power lines are down. The water is, is high in places. I know. And, and I'm telling you, the, some of the folks, a lot of folks can't see us right now, and I understand that. But the ones that are, you're like, come on, give me every idea. Yeah. We are getting the reports. And the, the wind was so high all night that the emergency officials, they couldn't go out. No. They couldn't, they, and they weren't answering calls. Or, so they, now they're beginning to venture out. And as they're getting out, these reports are beginning to trickle in, which we give to you. Yes. We heard from that family in Clearwater. Uh, he made the call, yep. my family's stuck and the water's rising. And, and they said, if you could get to a high point yeah. in your kitchen, mm -hmm. like a, a table or something, that's all they could all Until they, could they can get out there. Yeah. Until these, and we still have tropical storm force wind gusts, especially over in Lakeland. Um, they're still getting those wind gusts of 40 or 50 miles per hour. And it's okay. going to take a few hours for that to settle back down. I do want to mention the Alifaya River again at Lithia. And then we're going to go into some of the rainfall this is totals. Scary. It is. The flood stage for the Alifaya at Lithia over in eastern Hillsborough County is at 13 feet. That's the flood stage. Okay. Presently, it's at 16.2. Mm -hmm. It's forecast to crest at 20.1. It's going to be a full seven feet above flood wow. stage. That, and of course, listen to the officials out there as to what that's going to do. That's going to be some major flooding yeah. for the Alifaya. The actual crest that they had goes back to 1960 at 20.1. So this may match that crest back in 1960. So that'll give you an idea of just how much water has come down. 18.54 inches of rain. Let's get into it over at Albert Witted Airport. That is the jackpot total so far. Let me show some of those rainfall totals. We can put those up for you because I know that Lutz in a 24-hour period had 15.9 inches of rain mm -hmm. and really as we talked about this i'm gonna go to the walk we put that map up real quick yeah so uh, uh and we talked about north of where the center was going to be it would be where the rainfall was and there it is notice how the rainfall completely drops off as you're getting down into southern polk county and down into highlands county look at the difference look at the rainfall that came through a lot of it north of where the center did Really top loaded is what this storm was. 10, 11, 12. I mean, just you know, pick a place. You get into northern Polk County, 15 inches of rain there. Even up extreme northern Polk County, 12.2 inches of rain, uh, almost 10 inches of rain in Lakeland. Yet you go into southeastern Polk County, barely, barely. You know, see, see the difference? The rainfall was to the north, and this is where we're going to have extensive freshwater flooding. The storm surge flooding will be further south, but the extensive freshwater flooding will be up here in Pinellas, in Pasco, parts of Fernando, Northern Polk, and Hillsboro. So through nine o'clock, we got flood warnings. These aren't just river flood warnings. These are just flood warnings for the counties. That's how much water is still out and about on these roads. And that's why we're telling you the sun's not up yet. The last thing you want to do is get in your car and drive anywhere. You're going to hit something. Either water or power line or, you know, just let it fit, let us figure it out. Let them get it fixed. Anna Maria, 106 mile per hour wind gust. The Skyway Fishing Pier, 103. Same for the Mulberry area. That's in Polk County, believe it or not. Tampa at about 97. That was the wind gust, 97 miles per hour at Tampa International. A couple of wind gusts. The problem is this, and I know, and I'm getting uh, folks from Lakeland kind of checking in and going, hey, Dave, it's still pretty windy out. I know it is. I just don't know how windy it is because the power's out. We've lost all of these reporting sites. However, I can tell you the winds are gusting, last check, a little over 50 in eastern Polk County. But those will settle down. As we get into the afternoon hours, you're going to watch these wind gusts begin to drop. So it's 451, five or six more hours inland folks, then those winds are going to subside. So if you can give it a little bit more time, you made it this long, give it a little bit more time, and then that wind will subside. As far as the rainfall goes, that's pretty much done and pushing out as well. So as far as any, you know, significant weather, it's over, okay? We've got the problems with the flooding. We've got the down trees and the power lines and stuff. I'm here to tell you though, the recovery for the next few days should be relatively quiet. Maybe a few showers today. And then notice as you go into the weekend, high temperatures are gonna be in the mid 80s. But look at the low temperatures in the mid to upper 60s. A lot of times these storms roll through and we lose power and it's blazing hot. That's not gonna be the case this time.
So it's a little bit better. We're going to have a long recovery, but at least weather-wise, it's going to look good. Mid-80s through the weekend. And for the first time this fall, we're going to get those lows to come back into the 60s and stay there for several mornings. See, I'm trying to bring the positivity out well, this morning. Well, and like you, see, you mentioned, it's going to be helpful for a lot of people who don't have power. Of course it is. Because, I mean, how many times has it been 100,000 degrees yeah. after a storm? Yeah. And, and now it's going to be to the point where it'll be warm, but at night it will cool down. Yeah. And that will help folks that don't have power. Because if you go look at T just Tico's power oh, outage yeah. map, this is going to take a long time. Yeah. This is not going to be, you know, I, I know there's 50,000 or whatever workers, yeah. but you've got a whole entire state to repower, not just our area. Yeah. And it's going to take some time. The governor